Hello everybody! Today we have a little bit of an interesting video for you. We got an email from Circle DNA. Yes. And they were kind enough to send us two premium DNA kits. This is something we've always wanted to try to do the like DNA test and mm -hmm. like tells you about. Yeah, we were talking about it not too long ago. So yeah, we got one here and this is gonna tell us about like a lot of stuff. A lot of the, it was a lot like of like health stuff there. Yeah, so it's gonna tell us if we're gonna die or not. Music and dance reports, that's what we need to know. Oh, um, I think we already know that. If it doesn't say like, oh my gosh, you guys are professional dancers, then you know it's wrong. Yeah, so there's like, it's like super in depth. Like family planning, there's 163 different things. Disease risk, 65 reports. Stress and Personality sleep. traits. So is this gonna tell us that we're actually Korean? I would assume it wouldn't because we are very European. What? I don't know, I think there's a chance. I might be 55% Filipino, 35% uh, Korean, and then 100% just a boss. Yes. <laughs> but let's just boogie this thing open. Say hello to you. Comes with a bracelet. I need to tighten my all, but yeah. I have a small wrist. I have a super small wrist too. Maybe that's gonna be in our genetics. Small likelihood for small wrist. <laughs> small wrist syndrome. But we gotta swab our mouths here. And we're gonna put it in the tubular and then all right <laughs> got some tooth in there some tooth they're gonna know about your tooth mirror they will i don't know what that was oh man i hope i did it right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right vial of dna they're gonna There's clone our us dna we're just gonna be shipping it back to them it says it may take up to 18 business days so um when we get our results we will be in a different country. Yes, we will. So what we're gonna do here is they asked us to react to um, this video specifically. So we're going to react to the video. Kind of, I think it will just kind of tell you more about Circle DNA. Like this guy mm -hmm. got a bunch of DNA tests shipped to him and he went and tested all of them and told you about them. So we're just gonna go through and react to the Circle DNA parts of this reaction video. Yeah. So you can learn more about it. And, then and we'll get to figure out what it's gonna be giving us more so for our results, like what the yeah. sections basically are. And then in 18 days, this video will cut after we react to this and we'll be in a different country. Yes. Maybe where our heritage is from. Oh! Ooh. All right, so we're gonna check out this video here. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> hey, see? Okay, so we're gonna check out this video here, this what Circle DNA is all about, what this guy has to say about it, useful charts. 800k subs, he's legit. He's legit. So let's do this, here we go. So up first is Circle DNA. Their Ugh. basic service and we got the most costs expensive kit $189. Note that I'll be using US dollars throughout. Their premium service costs $629. So yeah, that's pretty expensive. But keep in mind that you get what you pay for. Look, yeah, Circle that, DNA so is things. primarily focused on health-related information. Cancer and in that screening. regard, it definitely gives you the most detailed health information of any DNA kit that I've tried. In fact, they market themselves as the world's most comprehensive DNA test. Like also, yeah. keep in mind that all of these companies tend to offer discounts around holidays, such as Mother's Day, Christmas, etc. So you can usually get 30 to 40% off if you time things Are right. You can, you can also get 33% yeah. off if this interests you in our uh, description, the discount code. Has offered a special deal for everyone watching this video. If you use the link oh, in the description good. along <laughs> with the discount code MATTB33, you will instantly get 33% off any of their tests. Now, when it comes to DNA tests, there are generally two methods of collection. I feel like I messed Some mine up kits so give you a swab <laughs> that you simply rub against oh, roll the it. inside <gasps> of your cheek oh, and then no. place in a vial of liquid. Whereas other kits require you to spit sides, though, so. a bunch of times into a vial, which generally takes a little longer and is a little bit more difficult. In both cases, the most important thing is to not eat or drink or even brush your teeth for at least 30 minutes Let's before hope you take was the test. Longer than 30 so for before. each <laughs> test, I'll let you know which method they use. In the case of Circle DNA, they use the swab. Yeah, that's super method. easy. 
The process for any of these tests is pretty much the same after that. The first thing you have to do is register the sample using the number on the vial. The instructions will be sent with the kit. This is extremely right. important because yeah, if you skip this you step, the company won't know which sample is yours. You then place the vial into a special bag that they provide. Note that these usually include a special piece of paper that you must not remove. This is because that paper yeah, somehow remember. helps to keep the sample fresh. And then you place the bag in the box. Again, they usually provide that Weird. and mail it back to the company. I Next a and finally it the most huh? difficult part of all, the waiting. 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 No matter right which now. company you use, you will have to wait several weeks, usually around a month, for them to receive your sample, analyze it, and send you an email with a link to the results. Okay, let's now take a look at the results that Circle DNA sent wow. me. Ah, I took it's the premium tell version, us? so there's a lot to go through. First oh, of all, no. the really serious stuff. Oh my god, Circle did DNA they test the genes? Ah! I don't know if I want to know this. <laughs> as well as 79 other conditions. I know there's been this cancer in my family before. Report. Fortunately, I was not at an elevated risk for any of the cancers. It's also be However, red, I did red, learn red. that I am at a higher risk oh, for no. developing type 2 diabetes. Now, I already knew that diabetes, diabetes runs in my family, so this wasn't really much oh. of a surprise. However, it reminded me that I should probably cut back on the sweets. Interestingly, it did not predict that I was at higher risk just for oh ulcerative gosh. colitis a disease that I did in fact get in my 20s, which just goes to show that genetics is not destiny. Most health conditions are a result of our genes, our environment, and our life choices. So while discovering more about our genes can help us to some degree, a DNA test isn't a replacement for common sense and doing our best to stay as healthy as possible. Circle DNA also tested to see whether or not I was a carrier for 163 mostly rare hereditary conditions. These are often single genes that may end up causing disease in oneself or one's children. From this report, I learned that I am a carrier for a gene that can be particularly dangerous for those who are heavy smokers. Fortunately, I've never been a smoker nor have either of my kids, but it is something I do plan to mention oh my. to my doctor, just in case. That's a lot. Another neat report that Circle DNA gives relates to drug response. It covers 103 FDA approved drugs Ooh. and tells you which ones may not work as well on you personally when taken at the usual doses. The rest of the things tested fall into what I would call the fun it's gonna category. Say a factor five. For example, I learned that I might have a higher than usual sensitivity to taste. Interesting. That I'm a morning person. True. That I could use more vitamin D. Did not know that. That I have a low wrinkle formation. Didn't know that either. That I'm an introvert. Interesting. I did oh. know that. That I might be extra sensitive to pesticides. Hmm. That I don't Fun. sneeze when I look at the sun. Can't say I ever tried that that I don't tend towards addiction, that hmm. I have blue eyes, that I'm not likely to be super muscular. Sad, but true. That I'm not gifted at music. Weird. Yeah, my wife can confirm that one. And my favorite of all, that I'm really smart. So true, so true. <laughs> Finally, there was an ancestry report, but it was very basic. Is this gonna be what ours is? Probably something like that. Probably more like northern and central Europe. Just this part, 100%? Yeah. And from what I can see, not very accurate. Like I said, Circle DNA is primarily focused on health, not genealogy. Okay. However, the rest of the kits we're going to look at. Okay, so Circle and DNA, that's the one we just did. So it's all gonna be about health stuff. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to know. I just I wanted <laughs> I wanted to know when I'm gonna die. I wanted our YouTube channel to result in us knowing that you're gonna die, that you have stage four lung cancer. Sorry, dude. Okay, so we figured as well we will react to this last little section where it goes over everything about all of them. Why not? Tests yeah. I tried is the best for you, because that really depends on your situation and interests. 
If you're primarily interested in health information and have money to spend, then I'd say that Circle DNA is hands down your best option. However, if it's genealogy that you're most interested in, there's a few more questions to consider. If you're an expert and want really detailed mitochondrial and Y-DNA reports, and once again, you have the money to spend on it, then you'll definitely want to go with Family Tree DNA. However, if you're more of an average person and simply want to spend about 100 bucks on a simple test, you'll want to go with either MyHeritage or Ancestry. I'd recommend MyHeritage for anyone who is Jewish or lives outside of North America, and I'd recommend Ancestry for those in the US or Canada. Finally, if you want a bit of both health info and genealogy info, or you want to find out your haplogroups without breaking the bank, I'd say that you can't go wrong with 23andMe. Now, there's actually one more test that I received for free for review purposes, and I'm going to do an entire separate video about that test wow. in a few months' time. That's because it was not tuned for a- For his kitty! <laughs> All right, Aww. so as we saw that, we learned that there's gonna be a lot of information on this thing that we're gonna learn while we're on vacation. So we're gonna yeah. see it and it's gonna be like, you have cancer. And we'll be like, oh, I yeah. guess we're gonna just go on it's, vacation it's gonna be It's gonna be like, um, never go to Switzerland because that's where the cancer causing uh, agent is that you, <gasps> you in particular can no! contact and then die. That's what it's gonna say. That's so, but uh, yeah, so this, so we got the best test for health information, which is kind of cool. It's very interesting. I've never like, I never thought like you could do this stuff. So that's yeah. very, very cool. It would be interesting to see like the also like the health things about it too. Like what we should be, things we should be doing specifically. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of intrigued. We'll see you all in like a month. So we'll see you there. Bye! Hello, welcome, it's the future. Whoa. It's been a over a month. It has been a long time. We uh, wanted to do this on a trip, but we forgot to bring the- Devices required. Yeah, we have the DNA results, so this should be kind of interesting. There's a lot, so we'll just uh, kind of- Like a ridiculous amount of things that we're never gonna be able to cover everything on here, uh, or else it would literally take forever. Mm. So uh, yeah, let's check out what we got. First of all, I think the, one of the most interesting things is always to see how white I am. Yes, um, shocking results. You're pretty white. Do you see how tan I, wait, watch this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's see the ancestry results that they have. I know a circle DNA isn't necessarily like, mm -hmm. their main thing isn't the ancestry stuff, but it's still fun to see it's more what health, their results are. health focused. Yeah. For me, I am. <laughs> 100%! 100% European. Hey, I didn't reveal it yet. I'm actually 17% Southeast Asian. Well, I'm just, Filipino. You just felt like saying 100%. 100%. I'm 100% European. I'm 39.8% uh, Northwestern European. Probably a lot of German in there. Mm -hmm. Probably a lot, probably mostly German, maybe a little English, because uh, my name is from England, my last name. 30% Eastern European, which is most likely Poland for me. A lot of Polish. We were just there. I was there in the motherland. I was like, hello, all my brothers and sisters. I just went up to everyone. I was like, oh. And then you started totally speaking their language because yes. you know it. Hello, I am Polish. That's how I speak. 15% Northern. Definitely probably not Icelandic, but no. Swedish, Swedish, Norwegian. Probably. I'm a skin. I'm a Viking. And then this one was surprising to me, 14%. Southern. Southern. No, and that doesn't mean like no. Italy, it means the South. I'm from Texas. Yeah. No. Oh, baby. Yeah, that would be like Italy, Spain, Portugal. Yeah, I'm guessing Italy just because that's close to Poland and Germany. So that feel like that would make the most sense. Yeah, I wonder if it includes like Austria maybe. It could, if it does, then that, that would, would make sense. also make sense. So yeah, so I'm white and I'm from the region in the middle. My cancer risk is <laughs> nothing. Yay. I'm not like Walter White. I don't have, but I don't get to make meth. That freaking sucks, bro. Can we just make meth for fun? You don't want to please make <laughs> meth with me. Let's see for disease risk. Yes, this was an interesting bum, one. Bum, Dang, you're a disease boy. 
deep vein thrombosis. Oh man. Bum bum. Ba -da -bum, -bum, bum That one sounds in scary. I think it's just like a blood clot thing. And then a doodinal ulcer. Bum bum. Ba -da -bum, -bum, bum Did you just say I think it's just a blood clot thing as if yeah. it's like nothing to have blood clots? I, I got Viking blood, maybe. This is something, some ulcer thing, so that's great. I could get ulcers, so you know, elevated risk. Lumbar degenerative disc disease, which is probably something with your discs. Yeah, and lumbar. Disc disease is when the lower backs and vertebrae discs degenerate and lose their ability to cushion the spine. Oh, that's that sounds fun. That doesn't. Yeah, that's, that's like a. So it's like old people thing, like yeah. where you're back. Ah, oh, my back. And then migraines, which is odd because I've never had a migraine in my entire life. So maybe it's to come, or maybe it's just not true. Or it's one of those things where you've been living with it your entire life, so you thought it was normal, but it's not. Yeah, and however, I'm just really tough, and I'm like, wow, this doesn't even affect Speaking me. Speaking of tough. I have some, I'm a carrier of some phenylicinonuria disease. Wait, you do? Mm-hmm, I'm oh, a carrier. Oh no, I know exactly what that is. Yeah, it's something interesting where like, you can get tested for it when you're a baby and you're born and you have to have a specific diet or it can mess up your brain. Whoa. Yeah, so that's, it can, and I guess if you have to have it like severely for it to really do that much, it says who have phenylalanine levels above normal but below 1200 and are at much lower risk for impaired cognitive development. So I mean, obviously I must have had it because my, uh, Cognitive development is very impaired. Very. Like, I guess I can just go over the report here. Just like a, like a quick summary of it. It says, I'm a higher sensitivity to taste. So things just taste tastier to me. It also means that you're uh, more likely to be a picky eater. Uh, yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, <laughs> coliac predeposition. I don't know what that is. Lactose intolerance, nailed it! You're a lactose boy! And spice sensitivity, I mean, I guess. I kinda like spicy stuff though. Yeah. Nutrition, uh, I need more vitamin B6, B12, omega-3, omega-3 DPA and EPA, and iodine. Should I just start popping some iodine pills? Yeah. Like the ones, oh I know, that's ones. cyanide. Oh, yeah. The ones where they go. <laughs> yeah. That well was being. so gross. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> I have an average, I have average appetite control. Like when we, do I have, do we have appetite control when we go into a grocery store and we're hungry and we're just like, <laughs> and just get everything? Probably not, but I wonder if that just like refers to like, um, like how quickly you get hungry maybe too. I get hungry immediately. I guess I do too. Dust allergy sensitivity, pesticide sensitivity. I gotta avoid, Achoo! I gotta avoid those uh, really pesticide and strawberries, you know? Sunburn risk. I got burnt in Iceland to a crisp. Optimal sports training. Consider the following. Basketball, football, and table tennis. I am ungodly at, or not ungodly. Ungodly. I am so good that it's ungodly how good oh, I am. Oh, really? Yeah, at table tennis. And basketball. And I mean, football just isn't that hard, I feel like, to like just throw and catch football. <laughs> You're just flaming all the poor football players. Sorry, in the guys. Get better. My creativity is four stars. My language ability is two stars. My mathematical skills are two stars. Two stars? I've never got less than an A in math. Disappointed in what you. What the frick is this thing talking about? Uh, my dancing ability, normal. My music ability, normal. Are you kidding me? Holy oh, no! no. Is this normal? Is this normal to you? I'm gonna tell you like a story here and tell me mm -hmm. if this is normal or not. Okay. There's a person sitting, grabbing his belt buckle, <laughs> flinging his leg right, then left, going, Oh, no, 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 no. Do you think that is normal? No. <laughs> okay. It's pretty like ancestry composition, 100% uh, South Korean. Wow, that's wow. surprising. I'm RM's brother. It's literally what it says. Personality traits, likely reserved. Obviously, that was just displayed right there. <laughs> Likely to have sensitive yet calm personality. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Physical traits. Likely to have high pain sensitivity. Punch me in the face. Ah! Less likely to have photic sneeze reflex. That is totally wrong. Every time I feel the sneeze, I literally look at a light and I instantly sneeze. And that's like the opposite for me. I can't like, well, it doesn't, it's not the opposite, but I, 
If I look at a light, it makes no impact on my... Less likely to be a thrill seeker? That's so disappointing. I pride myself on being a thrill seeker. Yeah, but that could definitely be acquired from like your father. So you're saying... Took you along the things. So you're saying people are more than their DNA? Well, hmm. Are you 99% banana? Yes. Then no. Dang it. And then drugs. It says just do a bunch of drugs. Oh, Yay! really? All right, Isaac's turn. Yes, and with a lot of these too, like a lot of them don't account for everything. Like the intelligence one, it says it's like genes relate like to about 50% of someone's intelligence. So it's obviously not gonna account for everything. Dietary stuff. So it says I'm very sensitive to fats, lactose. Oh, it's coming, no more milk it's here It's very for you. possible. Over our trip, I noticed that there was a lot more things that were making my stomach rumble. Uh oh, I never want that stomach to rumble. No, spice sensitivity. Carbs, I eat carbs all the time, so that might be an issue. You're literally, there's just gonna be one day where all of a sudden you're just gonna be like. I just explode. You're just gonna just blimp. Yeah, yeah. then there's some random nutritional needs. Magnesium, you know, I always gotta get that magnesium. Who needs nutrition? Short sleep, which makes sense sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. I can sometimes sleep for like 12 hours. Yeah, especially those times where you sleep like six hours during the day, and then you also sleep like 10 hours at night. Yeah. So long. Dust and pesticide allergy. So we really need to stay from away from those there areas. There was one thing in here that was very interesting. It said I was less likely, or maybe it was normal tendency to get, or no, I think it was less likely to get uh, stretch marks. And then you and have them. It's very interesting because I have like six going up my back. This one, I, I don't like you circle DNA. You guys are just straight up flaming me. It says optimal sports and training based off like my body type that they got from my genes. And it says to consider the following sports, badminton, <laughs> tennis, and golf. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Like t tennis, you know, there's a lot of moving. There's some hitting, you know, that's a good chunk. Badminton, that's like little to no cardio. Go work on your golf swing, buddy. <laughs> Success traits, uh, give me a four star creativity. That's what you got, you little duker head. <laughs> Language ability two, mathematical skills four. Dance ability and music ability are normal. Um, Does this look normal to you? <laughs> yeah. That's gotta be elevated. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ancestry composition. This is the interesting one here. Cause to my knowledge, I thought I was pretty Polish, Swedish, and like German. But I see my thing, 94.3% European. That's not 100. Start with the European stuff here. Northwestern was 51%, so Germany, like I expected. Then the next highest group is 24% Southern European. So maybe, like I said, if Austria is included in that, that would maybe be expected. 12% uh, Eastern, I thought that would be more for Polish, and 5% Northern. 5% Northern, Only 5%. not Viking. And then 5.7% Middle Eastern. I don't know that at all. You're don't. a descendant of Muhammad. I am. 5.7% Middle Eastern. Intriguing. Mm. Where would that be from? That's the one thing about know. this one, like we said before, that's a little, uh, is I don't get to see like the exact country that that is. It could be like Israel. Could be Pakistan. It could be Pakistan. Cancer risk, none. Family planning, I didn't have anything that I was carrying. Disease risk, I have uh, elevated risk of Hypertriglyceridemia. Oh no! I know. This one I think, or no, maybe it was peripheral artery disease. That's the second one. One of them is like decreased blood flow to the legs, which I might have because sometimes when I stand for a while, my knees get red and my lower leg gets red. So You're gonna have to whoosh your leg. It's very possible. I'm gonna be walking around with nubs now. Yeah, nubs. And then drug stuff. So yeah. Very interesting to see. Uh, they kind of flame me a little bit. I'm not happy about that. Not happy at all. But I am... Apparently, a little bit Middle Eastern. Hey, yeah. the more you know. Anyways, the more you know. Yeah, so that was our uh, Circle DNA. Thank you, Circle DNA, for sending us that yes. kit. That's always very something cool. we've wanted to do is do these DNA tests, so very cool to be able to do something like that. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. There's a link in the description with a code you can type in if you want to get your own test from Circle DNA. It'll give you, I think, a 33% discount mm -hmm. if you're interested in that and you can learn where you're from. Maybe you thought you were Korean. Uh, JK, you're actually Chinese. Whoa. Yeah, you never know. You never you know. You never know. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, like the video, uh, more reactions. 
coming soon and hopefully we can do more like fun videos like this as well yeah so i'll see you in the next one bye 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 see you from european boy